You're listening to Devil in the Detail and this is your Big Match Review. I've just arrived here at St James Park for today's big match between Salford and the Witness Vikings and I've got today's team news for you. Salford start as follows with Gareth O'Brien at full back, Justin Kiley's on the wing, Junior Sow and Jake Bibby are in the centre, Daniel Vito's on the other wing, Robert Louis and Michael Dobson in half backs, Craig Kopjack, Logan Tompkins, George Griffin, Ben Murdoch Masala and Josh Jones and Mark Flanning is a loose forward. On the bench for Salford, Wella Haraki, Jordan Wall, Phil Joseph and Ryan Lannan. Witness lineup with Reese Hansby, Corey Thompson, Charlie Runchery, Chris Bridge, Stephen Mars, Joe Mellon, Kevin Brown, Eamon O'Carroll, Lloyd White, Gil Dudson, Chris Houston, Chris Dean, Hep Cahill, and on the bench for witness Aaron Heremeyer, Mansi Manuf Manufakoa, I think that's right, Matt Whitley and McGrath Lulawai. It's a half two kickoff for Salford against Witness. Can't wait for it. Well, it's half-time here at St James's Park. Salford got off to a perfect start this week. Daniel Vito showing great strength to go over early on after four minutes to give Salford a 4-0 lead. Rhys Hansbury's hit back for witness and uh, Hansbury's also kicked the goal to make it 6-4 just four minutes later. You know, Salford uh, making a mistake in the next set from Mark Flanagan knocking on in his own half and then putting his back under pressure. So witness have gone over and made it six points to four. It's been a really tight first half, really. Perfect conditions. We've expected a lot of points in this game, but witness have had two tries um, seen off by the video ref both of them you know could have been given on another day really they looked all right to me but luckily you know for Salford they've, uh, they've been chalked off uh, Justin Carney was put on report what looked like a belting tackle it was a ball and all sort of tackle dumping the witness player on his backside great tackle but as we know these days you know them sort of things they don't seem to allow on the referees and he was put on report you know, Stefan Marsh broke through lost the ball over the line for the second uh, video ref being denied for the video ref it was denied for uh, a knock on it looked like Robert Louis had shut the ball out but you know luckily for Salford he was denied uh, Craig Copjack was penalised for a ball steal deep in the Salford half and witness attacked 10 minutes before half time Chris Bridge going over Reese Hansby missed the goal that way 10-4 but Salford were penalised just before half time and Reese Hansby kicked the penalty goal to extend witness lead to 12 points to 4 at half time witness lead 12-4 half time
You're listening to Devil in the Detail and this is your Big Match Review. Second half here at uh, St James's Park. So for defending manfully in the end, yeah. trailing at half time. Second half we've kept Witness out. We've done a lot of tackling. We've not really let Witness get in our uh, in our 25 really. Justin Carney scored at the 56 minutes to get us back in the game with 12 points to 10. And a dangerous kick from Dobson. South pound the ball back. Gareth O'Brien kicked off the touchline. That's how the Daniel Vido scored his second try of the game to put Salford in front with 12 minutes left with 16 points to 12. With eight minutes to go, winners have attacked our line. Brian, uh, sorry, not Brian Carney, Justin Carney, sorry. He's got the try saving tackle to put the witness man in, into touch. So for the held on. Get off all Brian's kicked a penalty goal uh, with the, in the last minute of the game. We've just held on there the last week. Witness came attacking back at us to try and get a draw after a short kickoff. So for leading 18 points to 12. That's how it's finished. Michael Dobson was outstanding in the second half. Kick with witness all over the place. Salford defending really well, like I said, keeping with the scoreless in the second half. It's just what we needed, getting us back on track. He's finished it at St James's Park. Salford 18, witness 12, and I'm delighted with it. Brilliant display. You're listening to Devil in the Detail and this is your Big Match Review. 